the little cottage in Bridge North. Shropshire used to belong to artist Anthony Dracup, who spent years transforming it. You would be forgiven for thinking it would be hard to swing a cat inside this tiny terrace but... You'd be very wrong. The home may look teeny from the outside but step inside the front door and this unassuming home in... Bridge North, Shropshire, hides an incredible secret. The cottage was the home of artist Anthony Dracup, who spent years transforming it from a traditional terrace into something far more interesting. It boasts two bedrooms, a living room and a galley kitchen, perfect for family cooking. But walk further into the home and you'll come to a massive sandstone cave, which comes complete with vaulted cellings, ornate pillars and tile mosaics. And Anthony didn't stop there. He also created stunning landscape gardens, a roof terrace, an attic room and a bathroom. Not only that but the determined artist completed many of his cave excavations by hand. His son, Dennis, explained. Every house that he took up residence in received the Drake up treatment, arches, pillars, balustrades, molding, marbling, graining, varnishing, stained glass all designed and crafted from start to finish by his hand. In true cold its style, a little every day, but persistently, he chiseled away. His persistence was rewarded with noticeably stronger chest muscles and extra living space. Single quote. Anthony died in 2002 when he was 72 but he used the sandstone caves that are common in the area he lived in in Shropshire for his inspiration for the incredible adjustments to his home. The caves had previously been used as a place for young people to socialize but now form part of this unusual home. After moving into the home in the 1980s, Anthony worked tirelessly to transform it. The huge cave structure now makes up half the size of the property and he also leveled parts of the home to create ever bigger living spaces. But his first job was to soundproof his house using an extra layer of bricks before he set about chiseling away at the cave that was originally in part of the garden. His son says on a website dedicated to his father's work, by way of a ladder it was possible to access the four levels of terracing. Oddly and asymmetrically designed so as to fully involve the climber in the experience you daren't. Put a foot wrong here.